I see the world through the lens of a woman and a mother. And I honestly believe that is what is best for women and children are best for everyone. If I were rep to represent you, what would my priorities be? And I have many, and they're not all here. These are the ones that really come to my mind. An increase in the minimum wage would make a tremendous difference in the lives of our working poor and their children. Our local economy depends on their service, and we should make it possible for them to have a living wage. I'm supporting Edie because she is a long, uh, long time Democratic activist who knows the issues that impact her community. And I think she would be a great asset to the legislative team down at the Capitol in Denver. Climate change is one of the defining issues of our time. We need much higher standards for fracking. For heaven's sakes, this industry is exempt from many of the provisions of the Clean Air and the Clean Water Acts. We will never wean ourselves from fossil fuels until we deliberately and strategically invest in alternatives. I want to be part of changing that. I'm supporting Edie because she has the leadership, the experience, and the values to represent this district really, really well. The elderly and terminally ill should be given the right to die with dignity. And I find it abhorrent that we as a society believe that we can impose ourselves on what should be a private, conscious decision made between an individual and their physicians. If Oregon can do this successfully, so can Colorado. Edie is built for this. Down in the state capitol, all we do is talk, get to know people, try to get things done by finding middle ground, and Edie does that all the time. She's going to do great. I'm looking forward to having her down there. Transportation issues affecting our district are only going to get worse. Toll roads are becoming the new norm. Do we want that? RTD fares continue to increase, and who do they impact the most? The students and the poor. Why don't we have an, okay, and personal disclosure, this comes from my husband. <laughs> Why don't we have bike trails that connect Boulder to all the communities in Boulder County? My wife will make a great candidate because of her intelligence and her passion for the issues that affect Boulder County. Their demand is there, and that's a community value. I want to help craft funding solutions that will ease auto congestion and pollution. I think my mom is a great candidate, first of all, because she has so much experience, and second of all, I know her passion. My brother and I both know it firsthand. Budget restrictions under Tabor have crippled Colorado's education. Since it's been enacted, Colorado now ranks per income 49th in K-12 spending, 48 in college and university funding, 48 in providing vaccinations to children, and 50th in the amount of children lacking health insurance. She's very dedicated to what she's doing, and I just am very confident that once she gets into office, that she will stay true to her beliefs and just continue to be the person that she is. Tabor undercuts the state's ability to invest in basic infrastructure and our workforce. There are no easy answers, we all know that, but I believe I could be helpful in finding solutions. I want to tell the people that if you have values that you really care about, the only way they are going to be delivered in a public policy way is for you to vote. You have to vote, you have to get your family to vote, and if you can, and if you can participate in turning out the vote, that is what makes the difference. That is how your ideals become reality. It all starts at the ballot box.